My name is Miguel Losada, and this is The 52. So one of my personal things I love to read and do and watch is comics. I'm a big Marvel fan. And I was actually just listening to the Infinity War soundtrack and just doing some work, and it hit me randomly. I've been watching all these videos, all these theories, reading up on the stuff. And right now, it seems like somehow Ant- Ant-Man's Quadrum, whatever, is going to be a way for them to travel in time. Now, and maybe this might be true, but why would they travel back? There's no way that, I don't know how they could ever convince Thanos back then to come to Earth. There's been a lot of rumors about seeing Thanos in New York City, blah, blah, blah. But what if it's Thanos from Infinity War? What I mean is, what if he goes back in time? And why would he go back in time? Well, Thor did become more powerful, more of a a stronger god, I guess, right? recently and my other point to this would be the simple fact that this the stormbreaker is supposed to be the thor the thanos killing kind right that's what thor said so could it be that thanos is actually so injured that he needed to go back in time to a point where thor himself wasn't strong enough to weld stormbreaker so my theory is we did see him at the end of the movie but you really don't see his chest we really we do see the gauntlet all messed up what if he's actually hurt what if he's dying what if he knows he's about to die and he went to this paradise to die but then remembers i can just travel back in time and he decides to crash the party during the new york incident now what does this mean he's His plan would probably be to kill Thor back then so he never becomes a problem currently in Infinity War, if that makes sense, right? So, but what could this mean in all various aspects? There might be multiple timelines. They might do like a Flashpoint type deal. I don't know. They might be, this is how they might change things. Maybe this is how certain characters get brought in and changed. This is how mutants maybe become part of the MCU, right? This can have a butterfly effect, him going back, doing certain things, whatever the case may be. This might open up the doors to a lot of possibilities and options. Now, what does it mean with the screenshots of people showing them back, you know, in um, back in New York? They might just then be reshooting those scenes and then having thanos fighting them so this might just not be them traveling back in time this might be them meeting thanos again and remember thanos knows about tony stark so what if he already had attempted this or something and i don't know there's there's something there right like to me and this is just obviously a theory right so my theory is look marvel did an amazing job at not giving away what happened in Infinity War, who was dying, a lot of things, a lot of surprises, right? Like everybody went in thinking they knew it was gonna happen, and we got sidewiped and side blindsided and uppercut and haymakered all over the place, right? What if everything being leaked is to purposely make us think that the Avengers travel back? But what if Avengers 4 is really a story about Thanos and how he's dying and how he can maybe stop the Avengers or maybe change the timeline to where mutants become a thing. The multiple possibilities, right? So a lot of things that could happen, but what if this is just Thanos going back or maybe even going towards the future? Who knows? Or maybe he goes back all the way. A lot of people saying it's supposed to take place five years after Infinity War. What if he goes back X amount of years, can't do nothing, then decides... He goes forward X amount of years, tries to do something then. I don't know. It, it, to me, I feel like they are throwing up smoke screens. Uh, Loki was kind of sort of a known thing. Um, so if you haven't seen Infinity War and I just gave that away, that's your fault. It's been out for months. It's actually already out in DVD, correct? Or Blu-ray. So uh, it's totally your fault. Don't tell me I spoiled it for you. But Loki dying was kind of sort of something everybody expected, but other people that died, and I won't spoil it for you, but other people that did die before, after, during, and in, in the middle, at the very beginning, was not really something anybody anticipated. So my theory is 
what we assume is not correct. I think it's Thanos that goes back in time because he wants to kill or hurt Thor before he becomes this new level of God, right? Like before the lightning would be called because of his weapon. Now his, he is the meaning, like he is the weapon, right? Like before he used to rely on the hammer a lot. He always referred to the hammer as his weapon. Now he is obviously the weapon that energizes Stormbreaker and does all those other things, right? So he has grown amazingly as a character, if you really think about it. And think about it, he even transported himself from nowhere or wherever he came from and, you know, transported himself to Earth, to Wakanda, right? An unknown place. How did he even do that? Anyways, so that's my theory. Um, I really wanted to make a video about it, but I feel like I just want to get out there because I actually had a theory, right? When I, I got to watch Infinity War early, I had a very long theory that everybody is eventually picked up and found leaks about and I didn't do the video and the video is going to take me way past too long and I feel like somebody else might get to this and I just kind of sort of want to be one of the first ones to say like I don't think it's Avengers that go back in time I think it might very well be Thanos and I think it's going to be about Thanos um and that sounds crazy but he's one of the mo newest villains that everybody really likes so why not kind of sort of let him narrate and this be his story and maybe even be quote unquote, his end game, right? So we shall see. Maybe Tony back then could take on Thanos now for some odd reason because he's not held back by his fears and doubts and failures. Who knows? Maybe his confidence back then was so great that maybe he knows how to beat Thanos now. Who knows what the case may be, but that's my theory. I wanted to do this kind of sort of as the episode for the 52 because it's something I always like to talk about and I'm actually going to end up talking about comics a little bit more when it comes to this so again this podcast is going everywhere in every sort of way in every subject but that's what I wanted it to do with it just kind of be an open book open form open mic for any discussions that come to mind so thank you for everybody's support hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you guys think about my theory on YouTube comments or on Twitter make sure you guys like, subscribe, and download the podcast. Gator out.